Virgo. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're new to the channel, what is up? My name is Leela. I reside in London, UK, and I'm also a Virgo. Shouts out to my returning subs. You know who you are. I appreciate you. Hand on heart. I really do. Somebody is all up in their head with regards to love. Some of you Virgos are in a good, good state of mind. Some of you guys are feeling good. You're starting to really love on you. You're just starting to feel complete, content. That's not going to be for every other, every Virgo though. There's also a spy energy here with the Page of Swords. Somebody is spying on you. It could be absolutely anybody. But this is a general love reading. And I pick up on a spy or somebody that's frustrated. Maybe frustrated that you're not reaching out to them. Maybe frustrated that you they're not in communication with you. Because some of you Virgos have blocked somebody here. It's not for everybody. But some of you guys have cut somebody off here. And it's really, really, really pissing them off. It's really causing them to be in their mind about something here. Well, how did it feel when they cut you off, right? Where were they when you were all up in your mind about things? Justice will prevail. We have justice here. You're standing in your power. You're standing in your integrity. You've learned the lesson. You've had so many responsibilities. Things have been a struggle for you. Maybe they still are. But I feel like a lot of you guys are really coming full circle here. Really starting to realise that you need to take this weight off your shoulders, Virgo. You just want peace. And if it doesn't bring you peace, you don't want any of it. And that's a bit of advice for you guys here. If you're dealing with drama, if you're dealing with people that bring down your vibration, lower your vibrations put weight on your shoulders you need to get rid of them you need to make that decision okay you need to make healthier choices and i think a lot of you guys are you're choosing to make healthier choices for yourself you're choosing to put yourself first you're choosing to remember who you are where it is that you want to go what it is that you want to bring to the table there is someone here that is extremely frustrated that you've cut them off. There is somebody here that's extremely pissed off that you are just not giving the energy that you once used to give. You've let them go and it's killing them. Look at the bottom of this deck. It's absolutely killing them. You've let them go. You've hit the fuck it button and it's hurting them to the core. There's a lot of disappointment. There's a lot of regret. There's a lot of sadness here. And why is that? Because they're reflecting. They're reflecting on all the love, the unconditional love that you gave them, the security, the excitement, the happiness, the empathy, the understanding, the romance. There's stuff that you said and it's really, it's really hit home for them. And maybe it's a bit too late now. It's all a bit too late. I feel like someone's trying to manifest you here, Virgo. You gave them a bit of your truth. There was a past connection here that was extremely toxic and they had you all up in your head. For some of you guys, it was a long distance connection. It was someone that you met online and you tried to cooperate with them. You tried to work with them. Red flags began to show. They made you feel like an option. It was like a battle. You were trying to battle for their love their security, their safety. You gave them so much kindness. You showed them what love really is about. You gave them stability. You gave them the world. Some of you guys traveled with this person. You were like a best friend to them. You had so much understanding, but they played you. They played you. And you probably loved so much that you gave them the benefit of the doubt, but this person's ego and controlling ways um, it's just all too much you started to see their true colors so what did you decide to do you decided to get some courage behind you you had to be brave you had to be courageous for your new beginning you were fed up of feeling left out you were fed up of not understanding where you stood and maybe they apologized but the apology wasn't good enough maybe you kept your heart open 
for them but ultimately you've drifted apart you've you've kept it moving and a lot of you guys have decided shit needs to change i need to get back to my independence i need to remember who i am and you did a lot of self-care a lot of you guys went through spiritual warfare but then you recognize hang on a minute I know who I am. I know what I bring to the table. It's time for me to go get what I need to get. It's time for me to love on myself. It's time for me to stick to my values, to be patient with my myself, my love, my feelings. I'm going to make the healthier choices. Yes, at times you felt like giving up, but you kept on moving. A lot of you guys are focusing on your career. A lot of you guys have turned that corner now. You've turned your back on them. It wasn't easy. You had to step outside your comfort zone to find your true authentic self but ultimately you realize it's time for me to work on myself it's time to re-establish re-evaluate it's time to evolve it's time to work on me it's time to look to the future and i'm going to stand my ground i'm going to stand in my power because i know who i am and i know i'm deserving of a real authentic love someone that wants to grow with me so that's what i'm going to work on i'm going to manifest i'm going to work on me i'm going to work on my future i've got plans i'm going to listen to my intuition i'm going to do what's best for me because i know what's best for me tell me i'm wrong virgo i don't mind tell me i'm wrong what's the oracle message for virgo the lover's card, it says here, intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. A lot of you guys are taking care of your health. You're going to the gym, you're exercising more, you're implementing self-love, you're taking yourself out on dates, you're doing the TLC, whether it's massages or recce or uh, pilates darling you're dancing more you're singing more you're smiling more you're making choices that you had to make somebody let you down it says great sadness take time to heal the need to forgive yourself or others and i really feel that there is no bitterness here there is no bitterness you can forgive but you won't forget it says here open your heart and mind to those around you trustworthy and heartfelt advice charity work yes so much love you give the world There's, there had to be a lot of lessons for you to get to where you are today Virgo it didn't get handed to you on a plate queen of wands stretch your wings and fly Virgo don't underestimate yourself Assert your independence and creativity. You've come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Continue to move forward. Events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. Keeping yourself busy. Having the right people around you. Getting your contacts up. It's not what you know, it's who you know. That's what they say, huh? Anything else for Virgo? And you will do what it takes. And if you won't do what it takes, this is your reminder. Work, baby. Your wishes come true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. Breaking free of procrastination. Overthinking. It does nothing for the soul. Nothing. You need to step outside. Uh, and get on the other side of fear. Important psychic insights. Events behind the scenes. Release fears that hold you back. hermit card spend time in quiet meditation spiritual teaching self-discovery you're learning a lot about yourself here baby you're learning a lot about yourself seeds well planted a temporary pause in action unnecessary worry and usually the worry is unnecessary justice will prevail 
It says, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. Stand in your power, Virgo. That's what I have for you today. I hope you have a fabulous day ahead wherever you are in the world. Remember, you can book me for a personal reading. Just get in touch. You can follow me on the socials. You can catch me for live tarot. If you'd like to donate to the channel today, you're not obliged to do so. But all donations, no matter how small, are always welcome. There is a PayPal in my About section. As I always say, my wonderful Virgos, be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you. And the gifted will catch you on the rebound. Take care, my loves. Mwah.